Hey everybody, it's uh, Joe Chaffee. So, a couple of people uh, have asked me uh, to uh, maybe show how I prepare whatever I'm going to be preparing for dinner. So, tonight we're, it's steaks. Before we do that, though, I just want to show you, because a couple, some of you have asked about this, because I put up the pastina. That's what it looks like. Okay, that's a small, very small box, actually. Uh, this uh, has six servings. So if you wanted to make pastina, which I showed earlier, this is this is what it looks like in the pasta department of your supermarket, and it's called pastina. I mean, it's awesome. So here's here's the thing. What I do when I try to cook is keep things simple. Okay, cooking should be fun. It should be relaxing, and you know this is this is really especially geared toward guys who you know, can have a tendency to be just a little bit lazy and we'll just try to cook something and it comes out tasting like a piece of shoe leather or cardboard. If you have these th the four things I'm going to show you, uh, actually, I just remembered that I need to get, there's one other thing that's missing here, so hang on. Here we go. If you have these four items in your kitchen, you should be able to make just about anything and make it taste terrific. Coarse kosher salt, okay, paprika, granulated garlic, or if you can't find granulated garlic, I usually get this at Costco. Uh, uh, it's a little bit different than uh, garlic powder. Now, I know the purists are going to say, you know, you should be chopping your own garlic and, 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 and maybe, you know, you, uh, going all at it with certain spices. You know what, if you want to make it quick and easy, you can go ahead and use this. Uh, you, uh, uh, they won't keep you out of heaven if you use granulated garlic. And uh, either regular olive oil or I happen to have some extra virgin olive oil. And then you need a tool to cook it in. And I think the best thing to have is to cook in a cast iron skillet. It's amazing what you can do with a cast iron skillet. skillet I make... Uh, pork tenderloins on the cast iron skillet. I make all my steaks on a cast iron, iron skillet. If you don't have access to an outdoor grill, uh, this is perfect. Or if it's raining or if it's too cold. So we're going to do steaks. And uh, the uh, steaks that I'm going to be doing tonight are um, boneless chuck eye filet. Okay, And that's really important. It's the chuck eye filet. They also call it the poor man's ribeye. Now these uh, steaks are actually a little bit thinner than I would like normally. Uh, I would, you know, I prefer getting steaks that are about an inch thick or a little bit thicker than these. But you know what? You have, it's whatever you can find. Uh, usually the chuck eye fillets are not cut very thick. Uh, they usually cut them a little thinner at the stores. Uh, if you can get a butcher to cut it for you at least an inch thick, that's great. And by the way, if you use a standard ribeye or, you know, a bone-in ribeye or however, whatever happens to be your favorite steak. I like the, the this and the, uh, and the rib steak with the bone-in uh, because it's a fattier piece of meat and it tastes, uh, I think it's um, among the steaks, it's the best one. It, it tastes the best. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to season these and uh, I usually try to be fairly generous with uh, the coarse kosher salt and what the salt does is it helps to really kind of break down the meat and tenderize it okay uh, then and you're going to do both sides so then uh, I go with the paprika it doesn't matter what order you do this in by the way except if you're going to uh, the extra virgin olive oil is the only thing that goes last. So you're going to season both sides with your paprika, your coarse, coarse kosher salt. Uh, you're going to then, you know, your granulated garlic. Whoops. Okay, just kind of got a little bit too much there on one spot. And usually what happens is when you do this in the cast iron skillet, it winds up a lot of... The reason why you do it generous is because when you do it in the cast iron skillet at a really hot temperature, a lot of it winds up burning off. So you want to make sure you get enough on there so you get, you know, the flavor that you like. 
And that's really the bottom line with all of this is you want the steaks to taste, have some flavor in them um, and not taste like uh, cardboard. So we're going to do the car, the, uh, let's get this all done. I get the coarse kosher salt on it. You get the paprika. There we go. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit, just a bit, doesn't have to be a lot. It's kind of kind of hard to hold the camera here, and this is liable to be dangerous. I got to be careful. I don't want to overdo it. But you want to just put a little bit of of uh, extra virgin olive oil on it, and then just kind of flip them around so that you get the oil down on both sides. Okay, you can do that. All right. So now before you cook these, the next the uh, next step is to just leave them sitting out at room temperature for about an hour or so. Maybe you're a little bit less. I mean, you can put them on right away, but you know if you leave them sitting out for about an hour uh, at room temperature, the meat gets tenderized, you got the salt on them, you have the, um, uh, the, the seasonings on them, and then they're going to go, they're going to be all ready to go into your cast iron skillet. And the only thing you need to do with your cast iron skillet is you're going to heat it up. You're going to put another little dab of olive oil in the cast iron skillet. And you're going to heat your cast iron skillet up on high. And when you start to see the smoke come up from the oil burning, then you're going to throw your steaks on. Since these are less than an inch thick, if you want to cook them medium rare, I would suggest you do about four minutes on each side, uh, and that should uh, cook them to uh, medium rare. If you have a, an inch thick or more, uh, 11 to 12 minutes total cooking time, six minutes on each side, and you just want to flip them once, and your steaks are ready. So that's how you do... Um, the what, what, what the uh, chuck eye fillet or the poor man's man's ribeye and again you could use any steak you'd like uh, the thicker to me the thicker the cut the better it tastes okay so that's what we're having tonight and uh, i'm gonna have to let them sit for a while now uh, before we cook them so i'll uh, come back later and we'll show you how they all come out